Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to some more Let's Play Crystallis, and look at this guy. He just came to say hello as I was waiting there. That's very nice to see you, Mr. Dragon. Now you can kindly die! Oh, meanwhile, we have Tektites. Tektites! Or something like that. I think it was, uh... Oh, who said those like Tektites? I don't know, but they definitely do. Anyhow, fire sorted up! Uh, so yeah, we're continuing our ventures today on Mount Saber. Um, and here on Mount Saber, we are looking for Tornell. It's kind of vague, I've realized, as we've been going through this game on exactly what we're doing and where we're going. So you kind of just have to trust in me and uh, understand that this is a N Nintendo game, so the story will probably not fully explain itself. But you know, that just goes with the territory. So uh, we got the Tornado Bracelet last time, and I don't think there's anything. I think this just circles around on itself. Oh, get away from me, Tektite. No one likes you. At least you don't jump. Um, so we're just going to go down here, and this should lead us right back out the way that we came, actually. Uh, this part I'm not exactly looking forward to, because, like I said before, a lot of these areas aren't very maze-like, but at the same time, they, they kind of are. And uh, so we'll just have to see how we do here. Uh, let's slide down here, and keep going to the left. Um, so we pretty much, that area there was just kind of a... Uh, just like a shortcut area, well not a shortcut area, but a, like a side questing kind of area, but you really want the tornado bracelet for obvious reasons. I think you need it to advance the game even, so you might as well grab it there. And I should have the ball of fire on. Alright, there we are. Alright, open that up. Yeah. So, uh, let's just move right along, Johnny the Purple-Haired Fighter. I was just thinking earlier, like, there should be some sort of, like, story as to how Johnny the Fighter from Lufia 2 became Johnny the Fighter from, uh, from here in Crystallis, and uh, I don't really know how to explain it. Maybe I'll leave that up to you guys. You guys, you're also creative. You guys can come up with stories like that. I know you can. Um... Uh, Oh, and as for the, the uh, changing of the swords, too, I had it mentioned to me, I think by uh, by Pablo LPs, he said that, uh, you know, it's really cool that you actually do change the swords, because now the Sword of Wind isn't completely inferior, which is something that you see in a lot of games. It's like, oh, new piece of armor, new weapon, just, you know, unequi just unequip it, sell it, never have to worry about it ever again. And, you know, I like the fact that you actually have to go back to the Sword of Wind. It's pretty cool, although, you know, probably don't want the tornado bracelet on, on any longer than you have to. And why are you joking and jiving around your little plant thing? Jeez. I don't think those things poison you, though. At least I know the dragons poison you. Kind of found, found that out the hard way. But, anyhow. Let's blast this door, shall we? Boom! And up here we've got... Come on, scroll with me there. Uh, I, I don't know how long this, uh, this episode's actually gonna be, because normally I do, like, all my planning out, including the monsters that I'm gonna fight, but it ends up being a lot shorter than I plan on it being, so... We got the warp boots for coming out of our way going here. Um, funny though, we got some warp boots because we're actually not going to be needing the warp boots um, after a while coming up here. So get away from us! Yeah. Um, so yeah, we can keep going to the right over here, and this will take us on the path that we really need to be going. Oh, jeez, stupid guys. Maybe I should be killing them, but uh, I just don't want to bother with them. I just don't. Anyhow, heading on up. Oh, how did he get me? How did that tech type get me? Jeez. I always have to keep in mind, too, what's weak against what enemy, because I tend to forget that very quickly. No, grab some money and get out of there. Ugh. Oh, well. Not a big deal. I actually do... Oh, fudge. I'm really in need of some leveling up. I'm level 6, and before we finish off this chapter, I'm going to need to be level 7. Just to do damage to the boss, going to need to be level 7, so we'll keep that in mind. And a medical herb. Hey, that's that's actually very convenient. I could show one of those off. Die. <laughs> uh, medical herb is uh, a very, you know, very minor curing ability. Um, it just does that much. I didn't even think it would heal me altogether. But, uh, yeah, very minimal. So I would recommend saving your magic to heal up on bosses. And then if you get messed up in the, uh, the dungeons or such leading up to the boss, just use a medical herb because it just makes more sense to use them than then versus a boss. It really does. All right, let's see. Oh, which way do I want to go? Okay, um, oh, damn, damn you spiders. That'd be so scary if spiders looked like that and had, like, one eye that just stare at you. They'd be like, kill me. Kill me if you can. Or something like that. I don't know why spiders can speak suddenly either, but, nah, eh, whatever. Oh, uh, anyhow, so where am I going? Oh, I didn't want to go this way. Sorry, my bad. I, I guess, oh, I wanted to show that off, I guess. I don't know. That's where that this road uh, leads you. But we actually don't want to go this route. We have no need to, at least. Um... Actually, I think if you go that route, you can get done with this area faster, but we want to show off just about everything there is to show. So, 
Let's show what's over here to the left hand side. Oh wow, I can't believe how quickly I'm just like flying through all this stuff. Ugh. Die! Die! Yes, okay, good. Yeah. Jeez, crazy tektites. They're little tektiting or whatever they do. At least they're not jumping around like tektites in Zelda. That would be the death of me for sure. Uh, and you want to go up here, make sure to go up. Oh, oh, and if you come to this little room, which is strangely small for rooms in Crystallis, then you know you're on the right track. It'll lead you right around to do some juking and jiving. <laughs> you can't stop me. I can go diagonally, which is just amazing. Jeez. Wish we had diagonals in NES games. Most of them don't. This one, so nice that it does. Which is all the more reason for me to be using my NES USB controller, even though it fails on me a lot of the time. Anyhow, over here we got the Magic Ring, which is an item fully restores our MP. Definitely something that you don't want to use, uh, you know, without really thinking about it, because MP means a lot in this game. And over here we have our buddy Tornell. Johnny, I'm surprised you made it back. I'll now teach you. Teleport. This magic allows you to move from town to town instantly. Have a safe journey. Well, thanks a lot, Tornell. I really appreciate it. And we got teleport. So now the warp boots, completely pointless. No need for them whatsoever. But, you know, this is also kind of uh, not an area that you need to go to. So if you don't get them, then you're still going to need warp boots. Kind of up to you, but certainly the allure of a teleporting ability is a little much for most people to pass up. So, let's see, dodge more. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna have to do some serious leveling before we fight the boss, because he is hard. I would like, I'm gonna stress that, because we're not gonna fight him in this episode yet, obviously, but we're gonna fight him in the next one, and if you are, you know, maybe this is like 20 years in the future, and somehow you're watching this, and you're like, okay, I'm getting ready to fight this guy, and uh, remember that you have to be at level 7, and you should be doing lots more level lead up than I'm going to be doing here. In fact, I'm probably going to be level 8, maybe even 9 if I'm crazy enough um, by the time we get there. So, anyhow, moving right along. Should sure. take out these guys real quick. Mm. Die. Die. Yes, man, they're so strong though. Uh, let's see, I think we want to keep on going this way. And do we want to keep going this way? Is this it? Whee! Okay, yeah, that's right. Oh, don't fall down the... Oh, jeez. Oh, that happened to me before in the practice run. Oh, well. Just finish off these guys real quick. This is what I mean. So, slight bit of... Uh... Ah, just take that. Slight bit of... Oh, you better get up there. You better get up there. Oh, crap. What? How did I not get up there? Should have been no problem, really. Mm, mm. These guys are really throwing me off my game, anyway. Mm, mm, jab him, jab him. Stuck in a corner. And oi, 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 oi. No, no, I shouldn't have moved to the side. Oh, crap, that guy hit me. Uh, 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 uh. All right, well, maybe this episode will take as long as I thought it would. Oh, crap, okay. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Yes, yes, yes. You heard it here first, folks. Duh, uh, uh. Make it around this guy. Come on, where's the cave entrance? I know there's one nearby. There it is. Oh, right down there's the entrance. Uh, I kind of just ran past that in my haste, but right down there, that's literally where we came in. And I think I mentioned this one a couple episodes ago, and we're actually going to venture in here now. See what this place has in store for us. Ooh, so far nothing. Little, uh, little bone chilling, perhaps. Uh oh. Get away from me. Ah, there's a dra- I knew there was a me dragon. Jeez. Oh, whoa, whoa! Epic maneuver right there. Uh, whoa. Wait, what's this? Oh, music has suspiciously changed. And you guys aren't going to believe this. Oh, where do you think we are right now? Where do you think we are? Ice wall. Boom! Blow that down. And what's on the other side? What the hell? It's Zebu. The wind is, f is filled with sorrow. Return to Leaf soon. We are back at the beginning of the game. I would not have expected that. I still don't expect it, and it still happens. Anyhow, we need to teleport. Where are we going to teleport to? The Hidden Leaf Village, of course. And suddenly we get here, <gasps> where are all the ninjas? Well, if they're good ninjas, they'd be hidden away, obviously, like good ninjas would be. Uh, but uh, you can adventure through this town as much as you want. Not a single soul here, except except for our good buddy here in the barn. Oh, our little rabbit friend. Some evil people attacked and took everyone away. There you go. You literally need to talk to this guy to advance the plot. It's kind of ridiculous, but, you know, it's NES ridiculous. Uh, so next time, 
We are going to go towards Mount Saber North. We're not done with the Mount Saber Saga yet. Oh, no. And I'm going to try to get some levels. I didn't even level up this episode. Oh, not by a long shot. I got to get up to at least level 8 or 9. And then we're going to take on our first really hard boss of the game. Maybe the hardest boss in the game, to be honest. Anyhow, guys, thanks a lot for watching. This has been the Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, like, and comment if you have not. I'll talk to all of you awesome people tomorrow.